Hi, Gary Stearman time for another update from Prophecy Watchers in studio with us today, Pastor Tom Hughes. Hi, Tom. Hi, Gary. Great to see you. Good to see you always because we've always got so much to talk about. And today uh, I want to talk to you about something that very, very recent. As a matter of fact, it happened yesterday. Our president uh, stood up and did what other people have not done for years and years and years. Uh, He declared that the American embassy is going to be in Jerusalem, which is to be the capital of Israel. A a bold statement on his part. Very bold and personally I love it. I know it can upset some people out there, but I know what the Bible says and the Bible tells us that Jerusalem is the apple of God's eye and so we look at it and also Gary when I look at that I, I know this, that what happened yesterday with Donald Trump President of the United States, his decision about Jerusalem has divided the world Yes, as the world seeks to divide Jerusalem, which is one of the things that the Bible tells us will happen in the last days. But also at the same time we see that with this significant move, and it is a very significant move, all the world's attention is on Jerusalem exactly as Zechariah the prophet said it would be in the last days. You know, it's fascinating. Uh, here we are in, at the end of 2017 as, w- as we sit here right now. Moving into 2018, and uh, early in 2018 Israel will celebrate her 70th anniversary, uh, which of course would be the 70th anniversary of May 14th, 1948. We're very, very close to that momentous date, and it makes me wonder, what do you think is going to happen between now and then? Well, I, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I do know this. We are watching a world that seems to be in upheaval, perilous times, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 the Bible calls them, um, uh, days of perplexity is how Jesus described in Luke chapter 21. So Gary, right now we are watching in Washington. We're watching all kinds of people being exposed for their immorality. Yes. We're watching it affect Hollywood. We are watching fires. We're, we have hurricanes hitting our country. All types of things are happening throughout the world, happening within our country. Donald Trump says Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. I'm thinking that Jesus is coming soon. And as I look into 2018 getting ready to begin, I'm thinking, wow, 2017 has been quite a year. But Gary, you do something to me that's remarkable. You've connected the dots of uh, you have 1917 and you have 1947. We have 1967. We have 2017, all significant Mm -hmm. time frames with Jewish holidays and also uh, with um, just the significance of what's taking place on every one of those dates. It's astonishing. Actually, uh, uh, many people have called Israel God's modern time Mm -hmm. clock. And you go back to, uh, for example, December uh, of 1917 when uh, General Edmund Allenby uh, uh, rode in on a white horse to Jerusalem and, and declared Jerusalem to be the territory that to be reclaimed for Israel. Uh, the Balfour Declaration mm-hmm. in the in the year 1917. All of that happened, and on Hanukkah. Which, on Hanukkah. On Hanukkah. On That's Hanukkah. When, when General Allenby rode into Jerusalem in 1917. Huh. Coincidence? I think not. I don't, I, don't th- I don't think there's coincidences in God's economy. And so you go forward from 1917 to 1947, which was the UN mandate for statehood, and then to 67, which is the Six Day War, and then to 2017. Uh, and then next year there will be uh, the 70th anniversary of Israeli statehood. These things seem to, to be forming a pattern. Yeah. Uh, I, I, and you know, God works according to certain laws that He has set forth. But when you start looking at Jewish feast days and just start looking at dates and times, and I'm, I've never been a date setter, never been a date setter. Nor have I. However, we do know this that Jesus said, the generation that sees the fig tree, uh, witnesses the fig tree begin to sprout, um, this generation will not pass away until all these things are fulfilled. I emphatically believe that that fig tree is representative of the nation of Israel. If you think about when he cursed the fig tree, I believe it was on Monday he he curses the fig tree, 
Um, it, it was a fig tree that represented Israel then, uh, dead Israel. It's a, it, or on, on Monday he's looking for the fruit. On Tuesday there's no fruit. On Wednesday, each day we look at it, Israel was represented by the fig tree. The dead fig tree, yes. right? right. The dead, it was a dead fig tree on Monday. It was a dead fig tree on Tuesday. It was a dead fig tree on Wednesday. So when Jesus on Wednesday is talking about the fig tree being representative of the time of the generation that, that will not see these things take place until the time of the end, or at the time of the end it won't pass away, if that was Israel on Monday and Tuesday, the fig tree was still Israel on Wednesday. Therefore, when Israel, when Jesus gave the illustration of the fig tree, it was Israel. So I believe emphatically that as Israel became a nation in 1948, mm-hmm. and the process was started much before that, yeah. that is speaking of is speaking of Israel and the rebirth of the nation of Israel. So we enter in 70 years later, 2018's here. And we look at that and I think this is really a remarkable time in which we live. And again, Donald Trump saying um, Jerusalem is the capital of the Jews in Israel. And when you look at the other countries, uh, Saudi Arabia, Iran, uh, Syria, uh, uh, Kurdistan, Turkey, uh, and you, you look at the, uh, the, uh, the, just the rolling, roiling uh, mass of, of weaponry, that, mm-hmm. and all of it aimed against Israel. And yet uh, you see uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, he doesn't seem to be too nervous. Yeah. He's just going ahead and saying, we're Israel. Yeah. This is who we are. He doesn't seem to be disturbed at all. No. And, and I think of him as a godly Jew. And I yeah. think of him as having faith uh, in God's promises from his perspective. Yeah. Oh, I have an Israeli friend that was texting me, very excited all day yesterday, <laughs> about what's been taking place yeah. with is- with Israel and this decision. And then uh, at, towards the end, we were just saying, you know, Israel doesn't have to worry because they have God. As all you know, the Palestinians are saying there's going to be a day of rage. Erdogan from Turkey saying we're coming against oh, you. Yeah. We know the prophecies of Ezekiel 38 and 39. However, God is glorified when that war comes against Israel. I also find this kind of fascinating in Luke's gospel when Jesus says, look at the fig tree, he then says, and all of the trees. So if you, if, if you look at that and you go, well, if, if Israel is the fig tree, mm-hmm. and, and we know the center of everything is Jerusalem and then Israel and the Mideastern nations, are all of the trees, the nations surrounding Israel, that really came about to be nations again in the early part of the 1900s. That's right. Right around the time Israel did. That's all right. All of the trees come back to birth at that time. So, so we're looking at this, and they all hate Israel for the most part. Yeah. And um, it's just, re- it's, Gary, it's just fascinating these days in which we live. Absolutely. And we, of course, uh, believe in the blessed hope, and we also believe that that blessed hope, that, that is to say, the catching away of the church, is going to happen just before what yeah. you're talking about comes yeah. to pass. In other words, the, uh, the close of the church age must yeah. be very, very close. Right. Uh, as as uh, Paul the Apostle put it in Romans chapter 11, until the time of the Gentiles is full, that time is just about full. I, I firmly believe that. And at the same time, all of the prophetic prophecies uh, that are in the Bible of the coming, the second coming of the Messiah are of His second coming, not of the rapture. The second coming happens at the end of the tribulation period. We're not in the tribulation period yet. So as we're witnessing, Gary, we, we have our Bibles. We can see the signs. We live in exciting days. And if we're witnessing these things that point to Jesus coming after the tribulation or at the end of the tribulation, how soon the rapture must be coming. It could come at any moment. And that's an exciting truth. Uh, the blessed hope, and of course we we talk about the blessed hope all the time, so much that it almost becomes a cliche. But when you look at it in the context of world developments, it's not a cliche anymore. Yeah. It's an actuality. Yeah. In fact, you, we can look at it and say all of the pieces of the puzzle are fitting. All of the nations are fitting. Uh, all of everything is coming. T- everything is coming together. Um, we are watching an, a pestilence explosion. Uh, one, uh, just another one of the signs. 
Um, in the last days, there will, pestilence will rise, earthquakes will rise, all these things like pregnancy pains upon a, a woman. We're watching even pestilence have, a, have a, a, another run at the, at the planet along with all these other events. And on that note, uh, we're offering a book, or we'll soon be offering a book uh, by Tom Hughes. It's called America's Coming Judgment, Where Is Our Hope? And you chronicle many of the things that we see happening right now. You look at them through uh, the lens of Scripture. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are living in truly an amazing period of time. Yeah, we are. In in fact, in the book, it's it's past, it's present, and then future. But everything I do, I'm a pastor, everything I do is based upon the Bible. And God's given me um, the, the gift of being able to look at Bible prophecy the way He has you so we're able to look at these things and go, aha, I get it. In fact, it reminds me of the words of Daniel in, in Daniel chapter 12, where in the last days, the wicked will see these things happening, they will not understand. But then Daniel writes, but the wise will see these things happening, and the wise will get it. Why? Because the wise are going to be able to look at the word. Wow. You know what came into my mind as you were talking? America's colleges, you know, like Harvard and Princeton and Yale, all the great uh, institutions of learning, higher learning in America, started as Christian colleges. Yeah. Even Harvard was a Christian yeah, college, and today uh, they won't even let a Christian through the door. No, it's it's amazing. They can't come and speak there. If you if you if anybody finds out some Christians are going to come and speak at those things, they'll shut them down. Uh, free speech is being eliminated from our country, which I talk about in the book, and so we're witnessing these things. And uh, but wow, Jesus must be coming soon. With things happening the way they are uh, in and around Israel, uh, we are indeed watching very, very carefully. Tom Hughes, may the Lord bless you and the 412 Church in San Jacinto, California. Thank you, Gary. It's great being, being here, being here with you. Always fun to talk with Tom Hughes. And uh, to the rest of you, uh, let me just say, we're watching. You be watching too. Thanks for joining us on Prophecy Watchers. You can find us on the web at prophecywatchers.com where you can sign up for our free email newsletter or follow us at facebook.com slash prophecywatchers. In the meantime, keep watching everybody and we'll see you soon.